Hi, welcome to another episode of Jeff's Stuff. I say another, this is the first one. I'm doing this, I'm not even gonna explain it, I'm gonna go right into it. I get questions sometimes because I'm, f you know, figuring things out as far as creative work by paying attention and trial and error. Thing, here's what I know about certain topics. Quick 10 minutes. First up, someone asked, recently, how do you get creative work? If you're asking that question or you want to, you know, know um, how to get creative work, you, you probably have a skill in mind, a trade, uh, art form, videography, photography, lighting. I don't know if there's people getting lighting jobs at our level. Sound, I've seen sound jobs. Yeah, there, no, there's lighting and sound jobs on sets and shit, writing, graphic design, all this shit. First, figure out your skill and get good at it. You know, I know everything's subjective, but get really good at it. Like think you're good enough to get paid to do it and then work harder at it for like another 18 months, then try to get paid. I mean, cause like a lot of talented people out there. That's all I'm gonna say. And you gotta figure out if you got the talent and you have the legs for it. I think I'm still figuring that out. Um, but I definitely have, I'm coming up on like my fifth anniversary in comedy. Imogene, I am on set. I'm in the middle of taping. This is the inaugural episode. Thank you, Lane Down. And so I, I got the legs to prove that I can get this far. And then also, you know, in, over the last year and, or, and some change, I've just done creative work. Plus a little house sitting, plus a little pin selling. Okay, so listen. It's a, it's a mixed bag of things. So figure out what you can do that others want. Pinpoint the spaces where that exists. I was already doing comedy every night at open mics or shows, and I had a camera. Okay, well, I, I don't know how to do photos good, um, but I'm just doing video work with it. I was like, why don't I learn this skill? I got time. So I just fucking devoted chunks of the day to watching YouTube videos. Like, you can, could be completely self-taught in, in probably almost anything. I don't wanna like belittle someone's profession that they paid lots and lots of money for, but you can learn a fuck ton online. So yeah, teach yourself, find the space that it exists. That's what I did. I was like, I'm going out to comedy every night. People like photos of them doing comedy. Hey friends, hey mom, dad, look at me last night. Pretty, pretty cool, huh? They liked photos and showrunners like photos, promote their next event. And so I was like, why don't I learn this skill and I'll start doing it. Show up and make it known that you're practicing. Just show up to those spaces. You can DM someone, like a showrunner. I'm gonna use my specific examples, my subjective experience. Hey, you got a photographer tonight? I was like messaging Kelsey Rosen, who runs Uncorked, like, you got a photographer tonight? No, can I come take photos? Yeah, that's my impression of Kelsey. And so I just showed up and did, and did photos. <laughs> the first two times I was at Uncorked, really trash photos. One was outside and one was inside. I didn't know anything about like different light balance settings or ISO settings or, and the camera I had wasn't equipped to shoot in like super low light, neither were the lenses I had. The sentences that I'm saying right now, like, oh, I had a very high F stop. It was like, it was like four or five and I got a 1.8 and I can really get into the low lighting and I don't have to pump up the ISO too much and lose a lot of the, uh, lose a lot of the crispness in, in post. I wouldn't even know how to say that sentence five months ago. I could recite it off of a page, but I wouldn't know what it means. I know what it means. Practice and give, give out your work for free. The moment I became proud of the photos, I would share them beyond, um, like I, I, like I initially showed Kelsey, uh, a few were used in like an Instagram story. And that showed the quality of the work. Hey, thanks for giving me these. I'll go ahead and use them for a 24 hour only advertisement for the show, which I get. But the moment I was proud of the photos, I started sharing them, like sending them directly to their comics or posting them on my Facebook page and tagging other people. That's how algorithms work. Directly the people that you tag are drawn to the post and your photos. Mutual friends are drawn to the, your photos and that post. And friends of the people that you posted or you tagged that you don't know, they, they're drawn to your post and their photo. And all of a sudden, you know, you, you are uh, known as photographer, known as graphic designer, known as videographer, known as lighting. If I had a nickel for every time I'm on Facebook and I see someone say, hey, great, this is immaculate lighting. Give me that name. I'm kidding, obviously, but it, it just doesn't exist in my end. Distribute for free. I'm looking at my notes. Use to have your own presentation 
shine. Oh, okay, I interpreted that. My own shit that I was posting, whether it was a story or a post or video work, that had to look good. I can't be like making my content online, that's what we call it, content online look like a shite. If I am wanting to pay for others to pay me legitimate money to make their content, you know, my head, mine had to look sharp and great. By and large, just kind of really paying attention to the quality of what I was putting out there. That's what close friends list is for on Instagram, okay? You put your best foot forward out to the public and then you just, all the pixelated bullshit on your close friends story. And you can put as many close friends. I have a lot of people on my close friends right now. I was just on some people's close friends. I'm like, why am I here? And I'm like, and I'm like, oh, because you know we see each other a lot. And what is a close friend if not frequent FaceTime? Okay, so you've figured out your skill. You figured out uh, where to do it. You've practiced. You've learned on the internet. Made your own shit look good. And after I me, mean, it was like two months, three months consistently like four or five times a week posting photo batches and going to events and just bring my camera with me at all times. All of a sudden you turn the corner. I'm, this is, the last point is something that I'm still working on. It's saying yes to compensation. Sometimes your friends will be like, what do I owe you? And you're like, friends for free. I've done that, I've done that plenty of times. I think it all comes around in the end. But once you start getting uh, those kind of inquiries outside your friends, yeah. Just start saying yes. I, I'm still working on not being shy of raising my rate. For me specifically, I know that the market within I'm, that I'm operating within, there's not a lot of uh, liquid cash money. There's not a lot of funding going around unless a show is sponsored or unless a show is, yeah, that's basically it, you know? So, so maybe you eventually wanna target events and producers and shows that have a uh, following the, the sponsorship and stuff and then kind of have the money to throw towards uh, elevating their um, artistic presence online if that's what you're providing for them. Otherwise, yeah, do a lot of work for free, work with your friends, be good to your friends, and your friends will recommend you. Yeah, there's a, there, I was under some illusion at, at some point in life where like, oh, I'll work my career, I'll work on my skills, and then all of a sudden I'll join the friend group or the social circle where all the photographers, where all the comedians, or all the videographers are. I, I will become good enough at what I'm doing and I will join that circle. No, your circle stays your circle. I heard once, I don't remember where, your reputation starts now, that little thing. Whether it's kindness or whether it's uh, your work ethic, it starts now. These are your people that are gonna fucking rah-rah you and put the wind in your sails and uh, help you be a success because you, you're ultimately doing the same for them. Yeah, we didn't really get into equipment and stuff. And I think that'll be another thing. Buying, yeah, buying equipment is another one. So we'll do that. That'll be the next one. This has been episode one of Jeff Stuff. Jeff Stuff. This has been episode one of Jeff Stuff. That's what we'll call it. I'm Jeff Stonic. Thank you.